Welcome back. I'm Ted Thomas, and in this episode, I'm going to answer the question, how do you get a quit claim deed? Well, I'm not sure you want one, but I'm going to tell you how you're going to get one, okay? I'm also going to talk to you about insider tips to make money, and if you'll stay to the end, you'll see a few things that you should avoid when you go to your first auction, and I don't want you to make these mistakes, but I'm going to tell you what they are. Okay, so let's uh, take a quick break, and I'll come right back. Okay, how do you get a quit claim deed? Well, usually you're going to be awarded a quit claim deed from the county when you buy a property. So if you buy a tax defaulted property, expect to get a quit claim deed. However, you might get a sheriff's deed and they've incorporated a quit claim deed. And I'll come back and tell you about that in just a minute. But right now, I need to give you some foundational material because I don't know how much you know about this. So I'll tell you a little bit about tax liens, tell you a little bit about tax deeds, and I'll tell you how these quit claim deeds come into being used. So number one, the local governments, they have a real challenge collecting money. And if they can't collect money, they're not going to be able to pay the sheriff. They won't be able to pay the police department. They won't be able to pay the firefighters or the county employees. All these people have to be paid, and that comes from property taxes. So when property owners don't pay their property tax, the local government has a choice. So half of the governments in the United States, half of the counties, what they will do is they'll sell tax deeds, which are really tax defaulted properties. People did not pay their tax, so the government takes action. They do a process which is called due process, and that simply means they send notices and say, pay your taxes or we'll seize and confiscate your property. Or in the tax lien states, what they do is they issue a tax lien certificate. Now, a tax lien certificate is just a piece of paper, and if you buy one, you don't get possession of a property. What you get is an interest rate return on your money that could be 16, 18, 24, up to 36%. All right, so now you're getting kind of the basics of the foundation of the business. All right, so many investors, especially seniors, they love tax lien certificates because those certificates are predictable, they're certain, and they're secure. And they work like this. The local county doesn't get paid, so they sell a tax lien certificate. So anybody, you or I, senior citizen, they can raise their hand to buy a tax lien certificate. And when they do, they give their money directly to the county. The county holds it until the property owner comes in and pays. When the property owner comes in and pays, then they give you back your money plus all the late fees. Now, the late fees could be 16, 18, 24%. So you're getting the idea. So a lot of seniors like that because they know if they don't get paid, they won't lose their money. They'll get the property. So many seniors like tax lien certificates. But now let's go over where we're going to see these quit claim deeds come in. Well, what happens now is there's other states that sell tax deeds. And when they sell a tax deeds, what they're doing with a tax deed is they've simply gone out and they've confiscated the property. They don't want it. So what are they going to do with it? Well, they want to get it back on the tax roll. So they lower the price down to the back taxes owed, plus those late fees, and they add it all together, and they sell it for that. So that means they're probably going to sell the property for 10, 20, 30 cents on its value. So the tax assessor might say it's worth 100,000, but they're willing to sell it for 20,000. What well, you'd like to buy a property with a 70, 80 percent discount, so people go to those tax defaulted auctions. All right, now when they buy, the county's going to have to issue them a tax deed. And so they do issue them a tax deed, except it might have a name on it. And the name might say, a quit claim deed. Now, what on earth does that mean? Well, what that means is that the county is granting that property to you, okay? So they're the grantor, and you're the grantee, so they have now granted the property to you. And what it says is it's your property, but they don't know if there's any other problems with the property. Because, you see, they just took it from someone else. So they're going to say, we've wiped out the mortgage and we've wiped out all the liens, but we don't know if there's any problem. So they're going to disclaim anything on the property. So you say, what do I care? I just got a property at 80% discount. So you're happy, they're happy. Everybody's happy until you go to sell it. And so the buyer says, oh, I want to make sure the title is clear. You say, well, I bought it from the county. The guy said, well, wait a minute. My title company says they're not buying anything from the county. They want to have a clear title. 
So that means you're now going to have to go and have a quiet title action because the county disclaimed any responsibility for any problems. So now you have all the responsibility to clear them. So that's going to require that you visit with an attorney. Now, you don't want a personal injury attorney or an accident attorney or someone like that. You want a kind of an old gray-haired real estate guy with that gray hair or maybe no hair like I am, all right? And you want to get one of those old timers that knows how to do a quiet title action. Now, just so that you feel good, I do videos on that. You're not going to get it now because it take me more than the few minutes I have. But a quiet title action means the attorney is going to contact anybody that had anything to do with the property and get that title cleared for you. All right, so if you get a quit claim deed, then that means whoever gave it to you is disclaiming any responsibility. Now, can you sell it that way? Yes. You could say to your new buyer, say, well, look, you really want this great deal. In other words, you bought it for 20 cents and you're selling for 40 cents, but it's worth 100 cents. So you're selling it for 40% and make a little markup. That's what I do. I like to buy low, sell low. If you're doing that, you say, you'll have to do the quiet title. And then maybe that buyer will say yes. Many buyers say, oh, okay, no problem. I'll do it. Because they know they're going to fix it up. They know, so they got plenty of time. For you, it's going to take you three months minimum to make all this happen. So why not go ahead and sell it and while he's fixing it up or doing whatever they're going to do? They can do all that. All right. So there's nothing to be afraid of with a quit claim. What you need to understand is that whoever is giving you that quit claim is disclaiming any responsibility. Now, people in real estate are pretty cavalier about what I just said to you. And they're going to say, oh, I just quit claimed it. Well, if you can quit claim it to somebody, you basically disclaimed any responsibility. If they accept it, that's good. But don't be surprised if the person said, whoa, I'm not accepting that because I can't get title insurance. All right, so is any of this a big negative? No, it's not a big negative. It's just part of the business. So if you bought a property from the local government, from the county, you might have to take two or three months or even six months or a year to go through that quiet title action which I'm not covering today, but I'll cover that on another lesson. All right, now is this anybody doing this for you? No, let me repeat what I said. Everything has a fee to it. So the fee that you're willing to, more than willing to pay, is an attorney that knows what he's doing. Because you want him to make sure that you're able to pass a clear title, okay? Uh, if you can pass it to the buyer without a clear title because you're giving a discount, that's A-OK. -okay. I have no trouble with that. But expect to do a quiet title if you want to get a lot more money for it. Now, you're not going to just get any attorney. You have to one that really knows that. And any title company or escrow company will tell you an attorney that knows how to do that. Now, before I tell you about some of the problems that happen at auctions, I want to do a couple of questions. So here they are. Okay, do you want to buy small tax liens? Do you want to buy big tax liens? Well, first of all, if you buy a small one for, for $100 and you make 16%, you're going to make what? Pennies. All right, so if you want to make money, you're going to have to play the game. You can't win the game unless you play it. So you're going to, if you want to buy some little tax lien and buy a lot of them, you can do that. Or you could uh, spread it up by some, a uh, few thousand, some at a higher thousand or whatever. I don't see the difference in them. Uh, what I see a difference is, is how many do you want to buy? I mean, how much advantage do you want to take? If I was just starting out, I'd start with 10 or 15 grand. And I would take that money. If I had an IRA, I'd use my IRA money. If I didn't have IRA money, I would put those into the highest tax liens, highest interest tax liens I could. For example, Florida pays 18, but Iowa pays 24. I'd try to make 24. How does leftover sale work? All right, folks, we're in a business of abundance. There is always too many tax liens. There's always too many tax deeds. If the county can't sell them, many counties, many counties, will transfer the property to what they're going to call a surplus lands list or a leftovers lands list or they call it a forfeited lands commission in South Carolina. They have different names. In Texas, they call it the strike off list. In Chicago, they call it the scavenger list. My point is, these are properties that didn't sell at auction. Those are sold over the counter. So you can go in, you can do it online or you can actually walk in there and ask them for the properties that haven't sold. And what they'll do is they'll give you a list. You can go look at the list and you can just buy it over the counter. It's a simple process. It always works. I would say a good 90% or 100% of the people that aren't my students don't even know about it. Uh, we actually have full-time classes on it and we do it as part of our business. So that's it for today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover two things that are important to you. These are very important. Number one, don't buy a property you haven't looked at it. That means you didn't have your boots on it and you didn't have your eyes on it. If you don't have somebody else go look at it, 
you don't want to buy that property because who knows what happened to that property. Yeah, there's a number of things that happen, and it happens all the time. People call me, say, Ted, I got there and the house is burned down. Well, when did you look at it? Well, I never looked at it. Well, would you marry the woman without looking at her? Of course not. And she wouldn't marry you if she didn't look at you. So think it out. Don't uh, buy a property unless you've looked at it. All right, now what about exit strategy? People buy stuff. I've had clients buy 40, 40 tax lien properties and not have sold anything. I said, wait a minute, what are you doing? You want to be able to sell them. Well, they don't know what an exit strategy is. So folks, I don't know what anything is worth until I figure out my exit strategy. How am I going to sell it? Am I going to buy it low, sell it low? Or am I going to buy it and try and sell it high? Am I going to buy it and fix it? You need an exit strategy before you buy. Now, my name is Ted Thomas. I'm going to leave you now, but I'd like you to be part of my community. I'm doing these videos all the time. If you're learning a lot, you can just join my community. And if you do, I have a gift for you. It's a one hour mini course and you'll learn about tax liens in the first part and you'll learn about tax deed in the second part and you can get that free. It's my gift to you. And all you have to do is go below me right now and register it and I'll send you that free gift.